in the 90s. Mm. There's more entrance fee for us. And more money for the aces. What are they selling? Oh, I know what it is. Come here and I'll tell you. Wow, really? All the way from China? Mm -hmm. This I have to see. Oh, you? It's 50p to come into the castle. But I never left. Oh, yes, you did just now when Goyle whispered to you. So, 50p, please. You guys are getting good at this, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> we aim to please. <laughs> Good morning, lords, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this auction underway. Ace auctioneers, what do we have today? Careful now, coming through. <laughs> All the way from China, we have this wonderful example of a modern transportation system. Powered at the front, in this case, by my colleague, the Ace of Hearts. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Ace of Hearts is not part of this offer, but whoever you have up front, you can always sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Oh, this is a truly wonderful product. Every royal should have one. So we'll start the bids at 10p. Who bid 10p? Oh, yes, 10 pence. Thank you. Who bid another 10p? Um, I will, OK? That's 10p. Another 10p makes... 20p. Thank you. Who bid another 10p? I will. That's 20p. Another 10p makes... 30p. Thank you. Who bid another 10p? I will. That's 30p. Another 10p makes... 40p. Thank you. Who bid another 10p? I will. That's 40p. Another 10p makes... 50p. Thank you. Who bid another 10p? Any more bids? No? Going once, twice, sold to the King of Spades for 50 pence, an absolute bargain. Splendid. <laughs> Splendid. Wonderful. <laughs> Come on, Jackie. Mush, mush. I'm mushing as fast as I can, sire. Oh, that's no good. Pull oh. it here. That's it in there. Oh. That's right. Oh. Oh, mind the missus. Oh. Oh, I feel a little spending spree coming on. <laughs> uh, but, sire, first we must pay and display. Pay and display what? We have to pay 10p and display a ticket in order to park our bike. Oh, no problem, dear lady. I've got 50p, you know. Uh, alas, it only takes a 10p piece, Your Majesty. Well, don't look so glum. Let's get some change. I've got 50p, you know. And if we spend 10p for the parking meter, I'll still have 40p left. <laughs> yeah, ha, ha, the tea stall. Uh, but, but mm. sire, what about the bike? Mm, mm, I say delicious. <laughs> Hello. Uh, we'd like to change 50p for the parking meter, please. Oh, I'm afraid we don't do that here. I'm afraid you have to buy something first. Oh, how splendid to be. But, sire, what about oh, the bike? So, Ace Bakers, what have you got for a hungry king with a smile on his face and 50p in his pocket? <laughs> Come and take the weight off with a cup of Rosie Lee. The crockery is china, the milk and sugar's free. It's Table Mountain's finest, a lovely cup of tea. And it'll only cost you 12p. 12p? We like to munch, we like to munch, we like to munch, we like to munch, we like to, munch. We like to add it up and charge you for your lunch. Yes, sire, the tea will cost you 12p. I'll buy it with my 50p. The change is 38p. But don't forget the 10p so we can park the bike. How about a donut cooked by madame? Sprinkled on with sugar and full of strawberry jam. Goes down lovely with the 12p cup of tea. And donuts cost 13p. I see. We like to munch. We like to munch. We like to munch. We like to munch. We like to, munch. We like to, munch. We like to add it up and charge it for your lunch. Yes, sire. The donut will be 13p. A cup of tea is 12p. That comes to 25p. I'll buy it with my 50p. Change is 25p. Don't forget the 10p so we can park the bike. Perhaps you'd like a scone from my own recipe. Crammed full of raisins and only 11p. What about a biscuit ever so chocolatey? And biscuits only cost 4p. 4p? We, we, like, like, to to we, like, to we like to man. We like to man. We like to man. We like to man. We like to add it up and charge it for your lunch. Yes, sire. The scone will cost 11p. The biscuit's only 4p. That adds up to 15p. Plus the donut 13p. Makes it 28p. Plus the tea at 12p. Grand total 40p. I'll pay it with my 50p. Leave 
is exactly 10p, so we, we can park the bike. Come on, sir. We'd better get back to the bike. The last thing we can afford right now is a parking oh. ticket, modem. Oh, no! Don't worry, at least we've not been there. Uh... Clamped, sire! For air you have, sire, do not remove or attempt to remove the clamping device, as this may cause damage to your vehicle. This device can only be removed on receipt of a 25p on clamping fee payable. <laughs> what did he say? In a word, cough up. That is, in fact, two words, modem. Yeah, but I've only got 10p left and you want 25p. So you're 15p short, I believe. You've done this before. Several times today, modem. I've got it. Let's hire out the bike for trips round the square. 5p a go. After three goes, that's 5p plus 5p plus 5p, which is 15p, plus my 10p comes to 25p altogether. <laughs> Alas, sire, the bike is clamped. <laughs> uh, but thanks all we could borrow it, could we? More than my job's worth, sire. Nope. There's only one thing for it. We'll have to sell some of Your Majesty's cakes. What? Sell my cakes? Well, just enough to get the extra 15p. Uh, but, but which ones? You choose, Your Majesty. Yeah, well, let's see. A donut is 13p, the scone is 11p, that's 24p, plus my 10p comes to 34p altogether. But it's too much! If I might make a suggestion, <laughs> sell the scone for 11p, the biscuit for 4p, I believe that might come to 15p. Then, if you add that 15p to your 10p, you have 25p. Exactly! <laughs> Ah, excuse me. Hello, I'm the King of Spades, and I order you to buy this scone and this biscuit for 15p. Cough up. Thanks, studio. <laughs> right, so that's uh, 10p, 15p, and uh, 25p all together. Now, please, take that clamp off. Already done, sire. Oh. Have a nice day. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Uh, come on, Jackie. Three times round the square on me splendid new bike will soon cheer us up. <laughs> Tally-ho! Bye-bye! <laughs> Oi, you. Stop. What are your names? Sora and Diviesh. OK, Sora and Diviesh. If you want to come into the castle to do a challenge, you have to answer a simple question. Adults are 50p to come in. Children are half price. What is half price of 50p? 25p. <laughs> oh, well done. Through you go. And, oi, don't forget, there are five 10p pieces in 50p. <laughs> Hey, Divya Shansora, welcome to Table Mountain and today's challenge, which is to dress our ace for a fancy dress party. We want you to choose some clothes for him, four items, from the rack behind us. You will see each rack has clothes at a different price, some at 5p, some at 10p, some at 15p, some at 20p, some at 25p. Four items. You only have 50p to spend. You must spend no more or no less. OK, Diviesh, I want you to keep the total. Sora, I want you to run and get the clothes. The first bit you're going for is a jacket or a shirt. Go! She goes straight over here to the 5P rack. She's changed her mind. She's choosing. Sora has gone, I think, for a jacket. Yes, she's gone for the jacket. How much is the jacket, Sora? 15p. 15p. Now, a pair of trousers or a skirt. A pair of trousers or a skirt. She's gone to the strange skirt department. How much is the skirt? 15p. It's a kilt at 15p now. A pair of shoes, please, Sora. A pair of shoes. So far. Do you know how much you've spent so far? Oh, yeah, right. She's choosing a daft pair of shoes. How much are they? 10p. 10p. And now, finally, a hat or a scarf. A hat or a scarf. She's gone for a hat for 15p. On goes the... How much is the hat? 15p. 15p. OK, let's look at this total. Diviesh, 15 and 15p is? 30. 30p and another 10. 40p. 40p and 15p? 55. Is 55p. Do you want to write the total in there? Now, what was your budget? Um, 50p. It was 50p, your budget. So how much have you overspent? 5p. 5p, OK. We need to swap one of those items for something that costs 5p less. <laughs> What's it going to be? Go for the hat. Go for the hat. Swap that hat. 
Let's rub out the hat or the scarf and go for the new price. 10p. Let's put the 10p in the price and the new total is, let's add it up again, 15p and 15p is 30p and 10p is 40p and 10p is 50p. DBS, you are spot on. Well done, guys. I'm very impressed by your maths, but um, I'm a little worried about your dress sense for our ace. <laughs> well done. A deposit to the Ace Clamper account on account of us having had a busy day with the old cuttle clamp. <laughs> Look, sweetie, just tell me how much. Three five pence pieces plus a ten pence piece, making 25p altogether for a clamp on the King of Spades rickshaw. 25p, ma'am. And the King of Spades wasn't very pleased, I can tell you. Listen, sweetie, it's Petty Poodle's walkie time, so hurry up. One pence plus two pence plus five pence, making eight pence for a clamp on the King of Clubs horse. Ha! Well, I couldn't look a gift horse in the mouth, could I? <laughs> Particularly when it was causing obstruction right in the middle of the stable, where parking is strictly forbidden. <coughs> plus eight. <laughs> and the King of Clubs wasn't very pleased, I can tell you. I'm sure you can. Well, is that all? My poodle needs her wheelies. Ah, uh, uh, two pence. Plus five pence, making seven pence for a clamp on the Queen of Clubs supermarket trolley. Well, I had to shop her, didn't I? Particularly when she was parked right in front of the baked beans, where parking is strictly forbidden. Plus seven here, ma'am. And the Queen of Clubs wasn't very pleased. You I can, can tell, tell you. me. Well, is there any more? A clamp on the Queen of Hearts unicycle. Oh, no, no, no. A clamp on the Jack of Hearts rollerblade. Oh, no, no, no. A clamp on the King of Diamonds golf oh, buggy. Oh, no, 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 no. Ten pence for a clamp on the Queen of Diamonds poodle. Oh, but, 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 you, but you can't. Not <laughs> my darling poodle. Only do my job, ma'am. <laughs> Plus ten P equals <laughs> fifty P, ma'am. <laughs> I shall report you to the Poodle Protection Patrol for this. Well, you did park it in a no parking zone. Right on top of the stool, someone could have had a nasty accident. Yes, <laughs> you. You are about to have a nasty accident. That's it, Alex. Come on. To the stocks with you. Come on, come on. <laughs> roll up, roll up. Unclamp the clamper. Unclamping feet, ten sponges, sponges, baby. Oh, there you go. Lovely, lovely. Go on, up you go. That's it. Come on. Good morning. I bet Ace Clamper wishes he'd left the Royals alone, Brimstone. Yes, and I bet you can't make 50 pence using two coins. Bet I can. Oh. Don't suppose there's such a thing as a 25 pence coin? Nope. A 30 pence coin to add to a 20 pence coin? Double nope. Then you're right. I can't make 50 pence using two coins. I can with three coins. What about you? Two 20 pence coins and a 10 pence coin. 50 pence. OK, fire-breathing calculator. Let's have another. All right. Make 50 pence from four coins. Huh? Um, four coins. 20 pence? Oh, yeah! And three ten pences. Or how about two twenty pences and two five pences? Hey, it's my go. How about two twenty pences and two five pences? Hmm. Now, here's one for you, Brimstone. Make fifty pence using five coins. OK. Five ten pence pieces. Fifty pence. Pour some. Today it's a change from 50p, so let the tournament begin! It's change from 50p. Yeah, yeah, and the price tag says 20p. So what's the change? Um, I have no idea. You see, we diamonds, we don't care for change very much, because when you're as rich as we are, why bother? 
then you're going to lose the tournament. <laughs> the answer is 30p. 30p change from 50p when you spend 20p. <sighs> well, I could have done that. All right, show me next time. I will. Next. <laughs> oh! oh don't forget, it's change from 50p. You can do it. Easy. 35 plus 5 is 40, plus 10 is 50. The answer's 15. 15 what? Uh, um, 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 15 pence. Oh, yeah, silly me. 15 pence. 15 pence. <laughs> oh! Aren't you playing anymore? Oh, all right then, but I don't want to count out the change, OK? Let me see. Uh, 23p from 50p answer 27p. Well done, sire. You now get to count, count out, out the, the change. change. Shan't. You'll be disqualified. Suit yourself. The answer is 27p, and I shall now show everyone by counting out the change. 23p plus 2p is 25p. Plus 5p is 30p, plus 20p is 50p in all. And see there, there's 27p's worth of change. You were right. So, so I win then. I got two right and you just got one right. That's because I'm cleverer than you. No, sire, you are not. I'm afraid you are disqualified. So, the Queen is the winner. Oh. <laughs> Oi. Gar, can you change my 50p piece? Um, might be able to. What do you want? How about five 10p pieces? Oh, sorry, only got three. Oh, OK. You could give me ten 5p pieces. I could, if I had ten of them, but there doesn't seem to be that many of them in my bucket. Oh, dear, I was so hoping I'd get all the coins the same. How about 25 2p pieces? Sorry? Or 50 pennies? Nope. But I can give you two brand new 25p pieces. Oh, great. Hang on a sec. There's no such coins. <gasps> yes, there are. Look here. I've got two of them. Oh, no, you haven't. Those are 10p pieces with 25 written on in crayon. No. Oh. <laughs> OK, you've got me. But I can give you a 40 pence piece and a 10p. That makes 50p, doesn't it? It certainly does. That'll do fine. <laughs> here. Hang on what? a minute. 40p? What? You must think I came down with a last shower of boulders. <laughs> look after those pennies And the pads will look after themselves The 1p and the 2p and the 5p count on them Look after those pennies And the pounds will look after themselves The 10p and the 20 and the 50 are your friends There may be grumbles and groans Charges and loans Bills you got to pay But if those pennies are strong You can be for long Chase those clouds away Pennies will look after you Together you can make your dreams come true All together now look after those pennies And the pennies will look after you Together you can make your dreams Whatever your wealth or financial means Together you can 